Hi and hello once again guys. Here we have an old CB linear amplifier. The Setagi B300P which I have converted into a multiband uh, linear amplifier for the HF bands. So on the front, I've added the front panel to mount the uh, rotary switch to select the bands, uh, band indicator LEDs, and a meter to have some indication of the power output. Here you can see the uh, dropping resistors for the uh, LEDs and uh, cable connected to a flat connector that goes inside the uh, linear. So we have five uh, LEDs to indicate uh, the bands, but at the moment I have only wired three of them. So with five watts in, it's putting out uh, about 120 watts which is about right considering that uh, it's using MRF uh, 455s which are rated uh, at 60 watts each okay so uh, let's take up the covers and have a look at the inside and I will show you what has been changed or added uh, to complete this uh, project uh, here's a view on the inside As you can see I've added Low pass filters for uh, three bands. I could have added more but the uh, primary concern is the uh, space available So initially I had to remove the uh, original uh, low pass filter installed which was designed for uh, 11 meters or the citizen span and also uh, the uh, original RF choke so I had replaced with a more robust uh, toroid and six turns of uh, 14 gates copper wire okay so in place of the uh, original uh, low pass filter, this has been taken off, the connection has been made uh, by a, this wire here, it goes to the uh, low pass filters and then to a coax cable, it goes to the output, to the Sitsobo relay. Okay, so on the uh, low pass filters, you see you got relays. This one is for uh, the 20 meter band, 40 meter band, and the 80 meter band. So it is switched from the uh, front panel to select the uh, bands you are uh, operating. Right, so this 10 microfarad capacitor was added to, to the original. Uh, capacitor to increase the uh, delay to the uh, uh, RF sense circuit. So adding this uh, capacitor prevents the uh, switch over relay from chattering. Right. On the right side, 
you can see this uh, small uh, circuit there. So basically, it's just uh, an, a nine volt linear regulator and the adjustable bias, which is adjusted by this potentiometer. Okay. So basically, the linear was designed for mobile use. So by adding a, a regulator, it uh, stabilizes the uh, bias for the, uh, the transistors. On the uh, RF-455s, you can see the diodes. These are mounted over the devices to provide some uh, tracking of the bias current with regards to the uh, temperature. So as the uh, RF devices becomes hot in operation, it will change the uh, bias accordingly by using the circuit. And also, uh, an RF choke has been added to the uh, bias supply, as you can see here, the a ferrite with a couple of uh, turns. Uh, this is the uh, flat ribbon cable, which comes from the, uh, connect I mean connected to the relays, and it goes to the uh, band selection switch on the front panel. And uh, on the uh, output SO29, you can see uh, a Tori transformer there with the primary uh, connected to the uh, linear output and six turns of uh, copper wire which samples the uh, output RF uh, rectifies and filters it and it goes to the uh, flat ribbon cable over to the uh, front panel and on to the, to the meter. So on the uh, back of the front panel you can see the uh, band switch and the uh, dropping resistors and the uh, power meter. As you can see there's no uh, cal calibration uh, resistor there. I just needed uh, some indication of the RF output, so yeah, just to, to remind me that uh, the linear is putting out RF. And as I mentioned earlier, it's got provision for uh, five bands, but at the moment only three bands, which are uh, 20 meters, 40 and 80 because of the uh, space uh, required so in, maybe in the near future I could add more uh, bands as they are needed okay so there you have it thanks for watching and if you like the video please like uh, share comment or subscribe again thanks for watching